Hey everyone, what we've got here is my Samsung Galaxy Note Pro, the 12 inch tablet, the big one. Um, it has a ton of real estate. It's obviously much bigger than the other tablets on the market, the iPads, the other Samsung or other Android tablets, I should say. Really beautiful screen, a ton of power. It's very smooth, runs everything that I throw at it really well. Not a big fan of the Samsung bloatware that's on it, but I don't think anybody really is, and I typically just disregard it. I've got all the widgets set up that I like to use, the Google Now widget, the Weather widget, uh, Gmail over here, uh, Flipboard just kind of uh, stayed, never really got rid of it. Samsung throws that on here from the get-go and I never really uh, never really bothered to delete it. Maybe at some point we'll get around to that. Got the Facebook uh, widget up there as well. But typically I stay on the home screen for the most part. I've got everything laid out into folders, um, organized it based on how I use stuff, um, to each their own of course. One of the questions, um, and one of the reasons people buy this thing, other than the fact that it has a real nice screen, other than the fact that uh, it has the S Pen, which, you know, I'm a really big fan of, is playing around without a lot of these goofy, you know, little, little goofy attachments that Samsung lets you use to play around with and edit different things. Um, other than that, you know, is the absolute awesome size of this thing. But, you know, you may find yourself asking, as I found myself asking, believe it or not, what if you want a little more real estate, a little more screen to play with than just this and when I say a little more I'm talking that much more like television size more one of the things or one of the uh, a few of the things that you can do is you can cast it obviously there's Chromecast there's all share cast there's a lot of different methods of throwing it up to the TV but one of the things that I didn't like is that I noticed um, a lot of those devices are pretty limited some are app driven like with Chromecast, a lot of the times you can beam only certain apps to it. And yes, I know there is on uh, certain devices, uh, Android will allow you to cast the entire screen to it. But just like with Samsung's, which I felt was disappointing, the Samsung uh, All Share Cast, a lot of the times when you're casting the whole screen, or even just videos, there tends to be a lot of lag, a lot of image breakdown, the quality tends to suffer, and it's just not real stable. I've tried pretty much all the devices that are on the market for that, in terms of wireless casting and I've just not come away satisfied with any of the quality or any of the results that I got out of any of them. So what we've got here now as a solution is the Samsung uh, MHL adapter. It is a powered adapter. It runs off USB power just like a phone charger. It's got an HDMI cable going into the converter here and then the USB slash MHL cable here. On this tablet um, it does use the larger, the larger USB connector uh, here as well. But uh, the cable still works. It plugs into the uh, upper portion or upper half of that connector. And I'm going to show you how to do it here and then run everything you want off of MHL. So we plug it in. You wait a second. You hear the beep and it says HDMI cable connected. Just as simple as that. We turn on the TV. Get past the Vizio boot up. And there you have it. Everything, just as it is on the tablet, shows up right here on the TV uh, in high resolution. Uh, it looks very good, very smooth, and obviously your results are going to depend widely based on the type of TV you have. The adapter, unfortunately, is not enough to power or charge the television while, uh, or charge the, charge the tablet, I should say, charge the tablet while you are using it. It will provide a little bit of juice, but for the most part, you see that red X on any of your devices, you know it's not fully charging. Uh, the unit. It's just uh, too much of a beast, I guess, for that little cable to try and power up. Um, how do you control it? You know, that's a good question. You go into the connections here. Um, Android is now really, really good about uh, various different Bluetooth devices, game pads, controllers, you know, which is what I've got set up here. You look here at the uh, at the different things I've got connected. I've got the Logitech keyboard, the music receiver uh, for all the audio. I've got a little mono price adapter. Uh, just plugs into my ancient home stereo and provides some uh, Bluetooth audio. And it'll take everything from the tablet and play it through the uh, surround system here in the basement. Um, it also has the option for a Bluetooth mouse, which I'll show you here in a second. I've got the mouse here. I'm gonna make sure that it's on. And it is. Focus in on that. We'll just back out of that. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, when you inter when you want to interface with the unit, instead of using uh, finger swipes on the tablet, 
It's as simple as taking your mouse and swiping around. Holding down a left click treats it as a finger press. If you go into you know, a certain app, single click is what will take you in, and a right click will take you back out. You can also hit the home button on the keyboard. We've got the Logitech keyboard here, lights up, it's got a nice backlit display, a couple different Bluetooth options. Um, but you can hit the home button here and it'll take you back to the app. Using the arrow keys will cycle you through icons here on the desktop. It's not perceptible right, right now, but you can hear uh, the audio through the speakers. I've got it turned down a little bit, but uh, yeah. Basically, so if you want to get cozy and you've got a big screen TV, that adapter, which can be picked up, either from Samsung or much cheaper from Amazon. I've seen even Best Buy uh, stock this stock this adapter and they will do Amazon price matches as, uh, as I've learned. You can pick that adapter up, plug it in, have it right on your television and then from the comfort of your couch using a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse you've pretty much got a desktop PC type experience in your living room. Um, I use it quite often, it's a lot more comfortable than hunching over the tablet and when you want to just kick back and relax, surf the internet, chat up on uh, Hangouts, or go on social media, it's, uh, I think, the way to go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you connect your Samsung tablet to your home entertainment system.